What's up guys? So um I actually bought the uh the starter deck, the Link Strike starter deck. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing, but I wanna talk about if it's actually worth getting, if it's worth investing into, and all of that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna do a quick unboxing of this just to show you guys the cards in it. Um, I actually bought this at my local GameStop, ironically. They had a couple copies, so I was like, screw it, let me just buy it and talk about it really quickly. So, um, again, uh, this isn't the best, um, it's not like a structured deck, so like buying three of these can't like give you some sick combo which will, which will make you win competitively. However, it does give you access to the very first Link monsters to ever come out in the game. I still can't believe Link Summoning is actually here. So uh, here we go, the rule book, which everybody knows the rules pretty much of links. Um, this is actually, I actually want to open this up. I've never opened up one of the uh, the play mats before, so I actually want to open it up and see what it looks like and all of that. Um, again, I'm going to be talking about if it's actually worth buying. So yeah, you get, you get the cool mat, what the new board looks like, the monster zone, the, uh, wow, the extra monster zone, it's, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, well, let me get into the deck really quickly. Again, this is a very, sh very fast, um, unboxing video. How the hell did you even open- I haven't bought a starter deck or any structure deck since Monarch, so, uh, let me see. These things are kind of hard to open. Alright, here we go. Alright. Okay, any time you want. Okay. So this is the the foils that are in it. You have uh, what's this card even called? I was using it in the uh, YGO Pro uh, Link Slayer. You have Deco Talker, Ram, uh, Honeybot, and Link Spider. Uh, pretty much the, uh, the the basics of all Link Summoning cards. Um, Deco Talker is actually pretty good. Um, these two um, foils are really really good. Introducing the new Cybers archetype. And then you know you have these cards as well. I thought Dimensional Barrier was supposed to come in here, but apparently it's not. It sucks. Again, these are all the cards that comes with it. Well, Villain Lance is actually a pretty good card. I'm actually going to put that in my deck, to be honest. Duality. Terraform is good. Yeah, Mirror Force. You know, your your standard trap cards. No barrier. Um, okay, I want to talk about this, uh, uh, th this, this Link Strike uh, deck really quickly. If it's worth it, or should you just pick up the singles? To me, personally... The only cards I care about is the Link cards um, and Chalice, I guess. Chalice saves lives. Um, uh, again, uh, if you're going to play a Link deck, right? If you're going to play a deck with an extra deck, you obviously need Links or whatnot. But I don't know if buying a $10 st um, starter deck just for the Link cards are, aren't really worth it. Again, if you want to buy it just for the Link monsters, uh, I don't think... I think you should just buy the, the singles that people are selling. Um, I think that's a much more easier value for your uh, for your money. Um, I will be playing uh, an extra deck decks, so I'm going to need it. But I kind of wish I just bought the singles because it's only three link monsters. Not like the whole entire deck comes with uh, a whole link archetype or whatnot. Like every like 15 cards, buying three of these won't give you a full deck. So, is it really worth it? I, I personally don't think so. I do think, again, these Link monsters are nice. Um, the Forbidden Lance is nice. What else is nice in here? Uh, again, the staple, the staple trap cards are nice, I guess. Um, but there's nothing really like, oh my god, I, I need this set. There's nothing to really jump over um, just, just by getting this starter deck. Now, Code of the Duelist, uh, would you get those? Would you, should you get Code of the Duelist? Hell yes, because um, Trickstar is coming there. Uh, Mrs. Radiant, the main starter card everybody needs, is gonna be in there. Um, since I'm gonna be playing Spirals, um, Spirals is definitely uh, my link deck. It used to be Fluffles, but um, since everybody's pretty much gonna have access to the D Barrier again, uh, I don't know. I feel a lot more people are gonna be playing D Barrier, even though it doesn't stop links. Um, yeah, but um, should you get it? I, I don't think you should. Um, because again, ten dollars for just the Link monsters is all you really care about. I really don't think that it's worth it, in my personal opinion. I think that picking up the uh, the 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 singles online or Amazon or anything like that is what you should do. Um, but that's just my opinion. 
uh, what do you guys think about the whole link archetype um thoughts opinions uh and all of that all right so i'm gonna be out of here thank you guys for listening deuces